Welcome to your reading for December the uh, 11th through December the 17th and this is a general reading if you'd like a personal reading you can see a little eye up here somewhere throughout the video and you can click on that and that will take you you can click on the link to my website through that um, or feeling that will be in the description box this is your Sun Moon and Rising if you know your Moon and Rising you can click for those that information um, please follow me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram the links will be there below and this is the time of year that I set up 12 months readings so that's like 12 months in advance and it's about co-creating with the energies that are available to us you know astrologically um, so like for instance you know Mercury's in retrograde oh I just want to say there's a new moon on a beautiful new moon on uh, the 17th for some people the wherever you are in the world like pacific time i think it's 10 30 or something p.m on the 17th uh here in new york in the northern hemisphere we uh it's the 18th for us and the same for uk so it's the 18th um here we've got this new moon in sagittarius and it's like oh Sagittarius is so optimistic. We also have five planets in Sagittarius at the same time. We have the Sun, the Moon, Mercury, Venus and Saturn. And we've got Mercury going retrograde and Mercury is conjunct with uh, Saturn, the planet of lessons, you know, stop, think, uh, don't break any rules. It's the planet of rules and structure. Don't do that. Don't drink and drive. You know, you're liable to get caught. Don't do that stuff. Don't push the envelope. Follow the rules, darling, and the guidelines. And, you know, this is also about, you know, boundaries. It's strengthening boundaries. Mercury in retrograde. Use that, co-create with that energy. Purge your apartment. Reorganize things. Your computer, your files. Meditate. Declutter your mind, you know pick up projects that you like I did all this mending and sewing that I'm you know been meaning to do for years <laughs> I don't normally do. I sat down and I did that and I did a deep what I call you know some people say spring cleaning or you know deep cleaning I call it a mercury retrograde cleaning I got really into everything and you know and I'm not really into cleaning <laughs> But it's reorganization and cleaning and I got loads done. I bought, you know, this gold paint six months ago and I've been meaning to paint my door. I painted my door. I painted a tape. I mean, I've just, I've just been doing, doing, doing. And this Mercury in retrograde has been supporting me doing that. So I've got all this stuff done that I just could not get, get it together to do before. So it's been really wonderful. You know, Mercury in retrograde is not that scary. Just co-create with these energies and you can you can really go places. So if you want that 12-month reading, there is a special on my website. Also, if you sign up on my list, you will get another uh, discount code for $50 off. I think it was actually put up on Black Friday. It might even say Black Friday. <laughs> That's got to be updated. Anyway, um, so... How wonderful is that? Anyway, so let's go to your reading um, Aries. And the first card that came up for you is the Nine of Cups. This is like, this is known in the traditional as the wish come true. This is like, listen, your hard work has come to fruition. Celebrate. Look at the hard work that you've done. Celebrate that. Even if it's not physically going out and celebrating, celebrate it in your head. Give yourself the credit for doing that hard work. Look at your glass as half full as opposed to half empty. Um, this is definitely... Also, this card does have a tendency to... Um, to indicate that you can overdo it and of course most people can overdo it it's during this holiday season lots of parties and things like that so be very um cautious about not oh i'll have one more you know stop and think about that 
Now, clarifying that is the uh, Four of Cups, which definitely is that whole thing of, you know, daydreaming, not being present, wanting something you can't have. Look at what you have got and celebrate that. That's what this message is. This is like, really taking stock of what's around you. Look at the hard work that you've done. Don't look at what you haven't done. Don't look at what you haven't accomplished. Look at what you have accomplished and celebrate that. You know, spiritually inside, give yourself the credit, make yourself feel good. You know, sometimes you've got to toot your own horn, you know. Um, now the next card that came up for you is the Knight of Cups. This can be, you know, party invitations, which is, you know, these are like meaningful relationships happening. It doesn't have to be, it's not necessarily, uh, it's not necessarily a, a love relationship, but it's definitely meaningful. Your relationships are more meaningful and you're going to focus on, and listen, Venus is uh, squaring uh, Neptune in Pisces. So this is about also looking, don't give love where it's not warranted. This is about revisiting your relationships and not giving too much away to those people that don't deserve it. So really, you know, focus on the deeper meaning relationships for sure. Oh, also with this new moon, it is trining um, Uranus in Aries. More fire, surprises, serendipity, perfect timing kind of thing. Oh. It's exciting but it's very important to remain grounded and here we have the knight of coins right under the knight of uh, cups so this is like you know emotional deeper feeling this is about being grounded this is about keep it look when knights come into a reading it's about moving forward right you know this is about method hard work methodically and strategically moving forward just kind of it's almost like I say oh I've got to plod along you know keep going no matter what just keep going so this is definitely about hard work and and this is about recognizing the work that you've done right this is definitely recognizing the hard work keep going uh Aries now the next you've got two cards that fell out in this position and this is you've got the star, right? I love the star. This is a deep healing, guys. This The star is a deep healing. Um, I just got... I Sorry, I have to go back to this because this just came up. I just got... Um, in this card, I've got... you. Don't people please. It's very important not to people please. I just got that. Uh, so with relationships, you know... Uh, revisit these relationships and don't waste your energy on people that don't deserve your attention or love. Um, so you've got the star card. The star card is uh, hope. This is the card of hope. This is light is being shed where darkness once was and your path is being illuminated. Uh, that when the star comes down, it's a deep emotional, spiritual and physical healing too. It's time to take care of yourself, Aries. It's time to eat healthy, exercise. And you've got the world, darling. The world is at your feet. You can choose to go in a completely different direction. And what's interesting here is that what's 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 clarifying the star and the world is the page of swords. Speak your truth. Tell your truth. This is really, I, I'm getting tell your truth to yourself. So this is, this is, look, when the world comes up, it's saying you can follow your li life path. You can choose to go. It's like you've got all this life experience. You've been through it all. You've done it. And you have this opportunity to either do it all over again in the same way or you can move in a completely different direction and the universe will support you at this time. And it's a it's probably a heal a very deep healing for you to move in a different direction. This is about telling your truth. And that can be telling your truth to yourself is what I'm getting. Maybe you're not looking at your situation uh 
the way it really is, and that's definitely Neptune and Pisces, you know, it's like daydreaming and illusion and delusion. You've got to be very uh, cautious of that, um, especially with uh, Venus trining Neptune in Pisces, uh, not trining, squaring. Um, so the page of swords, it's like being really honest with yourself. We lie to ourselves more than we do to anyone else. And we believe our own lies because it's, we've said it in our own voice. So it's very important to really take the blindfold off and really look at things the way they are. Really ask ourselves, is this real? How do I really feel? And, and speak your truth. Tell your truth. The, the page of swords is intellect. It's about a message. It's about, you know, get the message for yourself, Aries. And the underlying message is the ten of fire. This is like new beginnings, darling. But in order for you to have this new beginning, because you've got this healing new beginning, this looks amazing. Just really focus on what you have and not what you haven't. I always say this is the people-pleasing card. Wow. And I just said that I got that message before, right? Uh, <clears throat> this is the ultimate people-pleasing card. This is taking on way too much. This is not seeing the truth in a situation and how this... You've got to recognize your limitations. This is about delegating. Don't take on more than you can handle. This is very important. Put some of that baggage down. Put it down so you can move forward because this is all about moving forward and moving forward in a different direction and a deep, deep healing. Um, but you've got to drop some of this. This can be, this can be, um, you know, emotional baggage. This can be people that are dragging on to you and, and draining your resources, Aries. This is about uh, letting go. So, Whatever it is that you need to let go of, whether it's people, whether it's too much work, whether it's, you know, uh, giving too much energy to people that don't deserve that energy, um, whether it's your thinking about, now this is like recognizing your limitations, but, but also it's, re it's not recognizing your limitations in terms of what you can physically do, right? Because you want to please people. But it's also not, um, because self-respect is also boundaries, right? And Saturn um, is going to be about boundaries. We've got to set boundaries. This is boundary setting. Set your boundaries, Aries, very, very clearly. And this is an opportunity you can co-create in this energy. Set your boundaries. Listen, make the phone call. You know what? I said I could, but when I'm really looking at it, I'm sorry I can't. I'm sorry it's not realistic. I'm really sorry. I wanted to. I really believed I could at the time, but things have happened and uh, it's not going to pan out. You know, let people know. It's like stand up, be strong, be confident and and make that phone call. And... Um, See your glass is half full, not half empty. You don't need these people. You don't have... Listen, look at your self-esteem. Give yourself kudos. Give yourself credit for how far you've come. Look at what you've accomplished. If somebody is not feeling you, let them go. They're not worth it. Somebody more amazing is going to come into your life. You know, you're going to get this deep healing. Have faith, darling, in yourself. Have faith and confidence in yourself, Aries. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all and I'll see you next week. For a personal reading, please email mary at liveinthesolution.com.